Hey everyone, James Grandstaff here. And what I want to do today in this video is show you how to create a video ad using the Power Editor. All over Facebook and all over, you know, the news and all the blogs, we've been, we've been hearing how, you know, video views or video ads are becoming so so popular and effective on Facebook. And I actually just started testing them uh, really hardcore just, you know, within the past few days here, actually. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I've learned so far and show you how to set one up. They're fairly easy. And um, there's really some cool retargeting things that are kind of built in automatically when you select uh, video views as your objective. So I'm just going to walk you through it real quick. And um, so here we go. I'm in the power editor. And the first thing I want to do is uh, start on the campaigns tab and then click the plus sign here. And then you just want to type in the name of your campaign. I'm just going to go video test. And for objective, you want to select uh, video views and then click create. And then basically you're done with this step and then come over here and click view ad sets. And of course you'll have none. So you want to click the plus sign again. And typically for the ad set, I would type in like the name of a group that you're going to target. So like if you were going to target, you know, golf again, I just always go to golf, you know, golf lovers, you know, that would be the ad set name, create. Then you come down here and you do your budget schedule. I just kind of leave default. It'll just run automatically. You go in here and you edit your audience like you normally would. So you would go in here and you would uh, select, you know, the state, the age range, your demographic, and then the interest. Of course, you would select golf or whatever it is you're trying to, uh, whatever audience it is you're trying to attract. And then placement down here, you can do the newsfeed ad, desktop newsfeed, or right-hand column. Uh, mo mobile and uh, mobile newsfeed and desktop seem to be the most effective so far with the video ads. So I might just uncheck that. Down here, I've just been leaving it at the default here, get the most views at the best price, and that seems to be working pretty well. So next, we come over here and click View Ads, and then this is where you actually click, uh, actually, we have to click here again and create the ad. So I'm just going to do like Ad 1. All right, so now, uncheck this, select your page. Now, this is really where the Power Editor has really improved. Here's where you can type in like a, quite a bit of text, and it'll give you a preview over here. So I recently created an ad. Let me grab the copy real quick. Okay, so what works really well here is if you type in the text, you can, you're really unlimited here with the amount of text you put in. So this is kind of like the old school uh, dark post or unpublished page post. Really, it's just a news feed ad now. So what you want to do is type in your copy right here or your post text. And then you can do something like learn more with an arrow and then put a hyperlink in there. So this link will show above the video. So as people are scrolling Facebook, the, you, you know, you've seen it a million times, these videos auto play. Well, they auto play without sound. So you don't hear any sound, but you see the video auto play. And then what you want to do is put a link in here so that at least if someone's looking at the scrolls through the video, they read your copy, they can at least have an opportunity to click the link and head over instead of having to actually watch the entire video. So that's kind of something that I learned here. So definitely want to put a link in there above the fold, meaning you want it to show up before the see more area. And I'll show you that in a second here. Now, you do have to f select a video. And what I found, I actually created a, a pretty decent video for a client here. Actually, let me show you that one because that's it, it, it makes more sense. Mine are just like, like, like screencast videos, as you've seen, like the one you're watching here. Um, but let me show you what I did with a client of mine. And um, it's working pretty well, and it kind of grabs the attention of that viewer while the video is silent. Okay, so this is what the ad is going to look like on Facebook that I created for a client of mine. So watch what happens here. So I kind of edited the video to where it showed the last, you know, the last cool part where they're kind of high-fiving. That was actually a clip from the end of the video. So actually, I'll refresh it and I'll show it to you again here. So I kind of showed the last part first, and then it, it jumps right into her testimonial. So the idea, if we watch it again here, is that this is going to get it, this is going to grab their attention. We don't really care about the audio at this point. Then you see the logo. And then right here, you're like, oh, okay, what's this person saying? So let me click play. And then the video starts playing and you can hear the audio, or at least you know, the idea is that somebody will click here, then listen to the uh, testimonial. So that's kind of the idea. You want to put something in front first to grab their attention. It could just be, you know, text on the screen. Hey, click here to, you know, watch this video or just or put some, you know, a headline in, uh, you know, like a PowerPoint slide or something like that at the very beginning to grab attention. 
Uh, this video didn't have that, so I just found the coolest clip that I could find from the end, a cool little screenshot, and then boom, it just kind of worked out, and then it leads in here, and you, you know, again, if someone's interested in this and they, they read this testimonial, they might want to, of course, you know, take a minute to click play and actually listen to what this woman is saying. So that's kind of a tr uh, little trick there. So let me go back to the Power Editor. So you would select your video, and then you can do a custom uh, image. So you saw at the beginning it was uh, the doctor and the woman, so you could do um, you know custom screenshots. So they're going to give you a few choices here. Again, mine are quite boring because they're just screenshots, but you can upload you know a custom one if you'd like. So this one's a little more exciting. So then that shows up for a split second before the video actually starts to autoplay. So you'll see over here. And then you can still do the call to action, whether it be watch more, you know, or learn more, shop more, whatever, or shop now. Website URL, you'd want to type in the link to your page. So you might have that video also on your landing page, so you'd want to type that in right here. And then the display URL, of course, is what, they, what shows up in the, the, the light gray text underneath the video. Now, here's what's very cool. Right here, there's a little box that says create audiences from people who view this video. Now, this is really cool because it actually creates two audiences. It creates an audience that is actually, this is a custom audience that you can then later create ads for. So it creates an audience, two audiences, one of people who've actually watched the entire video, and then, uh, if you'll read right here, an audience of people who have viewed for at least three seconds of the video, so which is going to be most people. Um, but those those 80% or, or those, um, uh, those that small percentage that actually completes the full video, those people you want to then put a different type of ad in front of a very, very precise ad. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like more information about how we could work together or if you'd like more information about our products and services, you know, click here. Those are going to be your really hot people. Uh, and the way you find those guys, let me head back to the um, to the ads manager. You come over here to uh, tools. This might be, might look a little different in your editor. I'm not sure which one you're using and Facebook changes these things all the time, but you just want to go into audiences. And then you'll notice right here, there's two here. These numbers are the same, right? 2018, 2018. You have completed and then you have viewed. So completed, we have 200, viewed 2300. So it looks like about 10% in this case are actually viewing the entire video. So these are numbers that you want to pay attention to. But this audience here of 200, definitely we need to create some more ads and get those folks to come back and purchase the product. Uh, this audience here that viewed but didn't quite you know, take much action, they might have watched it for three seconds, we would put a different type of ad in front of that audience. But Facebook does this automatically. So as soon as you select that button, right, where to go? Oh, right here. Uh, create audiences from people who view this video. Those audiences are created automatically uh, within uh, 24 hours. So then you can just create new ads and select that audience as the one that you want to put an ad in front of. And that's really it for this section here. Then you come down here and select your uh, uh, conversion pixels if you have those created. And that's it for the ad. And then boom, you click upload and that ad is now inside your ads account. So I think the trick here, and I'm going to be testing a few more things, is it's really going to be all about what that video looks like on Facebook for the end user. So again, I love this one so far, and it's doing great. The screenshot of these guys, the high five, the logo, and then boom, it goes into the, the live testimonial, which I think is cool, and it's, and it's working pretty well. So that's, uh, that's kind of what, we're, what I've uh, uncovered so far. So let me know if you guys have done any video ads. Let me know some of the results you've gotten. Um, but this seems to be working pretty well so far for myself and for a few clients. So um, that's it uh, for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.